Carol Spencer prepares to go through security at Dayton International Airport. I'm going to visit my mother who is 86. She's headed for Philadelphia via U.S. Airways just hours after learning her go-to airline is merging with American Airlines. Can I US saw that this morning on, uh, yeah, online. Carol isn't bothered by the change, but frequent U.S. Airways flyer Valentina Salm is. I have flown one time with American and I didn't have a good experience. The mother hopes there will be little changes, and according to Dayton's Director of Aviation, Terry Slayball, at this airport, she and other travelers won't notice much of a difference. The good thing in the Dayton market is that, is that both air carriers go to completely different markets, so there aren't going to be any overlaps of service created through the merger. Dayton International handles 22 flights a day between U.S. Airways and American. U.S. Airways averages 15, flying six times a day to Charlotte, five times to Philadelphia, and four to Washington, D.C. American averages seven, four flights daily to Chicago, and three to Dallas. Slayball is confident this will not change, but did express concern for the fate of PSA Airlines, a subsidiary of U.S. Airways that's based in Dayton. They have about 450 employees that are based out of this airport. They have a maintenance facility here, and um, they have about five airplanes here every night for U.S. Airways. So 